Welcome to HDTV. You now rocking with your boy. In the news, man, Steve Ballmer reportedly went ballistic and wanted to fire the entire Clippers organization after an early playoff exit. He was pissed. <laughs> Steve Ballmer was hot. Just look at the face in the photo above from Steve Ballmer and ask yourself if that's a man who had faith that his then head coach Doc Rivers had his trust and faith to go win an NBA title this year. If a picture is worth a thousand... If a picture is worth a thousand words, then she's the billionaire Los Angeles Clippers owner sure didn't mince his opinion with that death stare. Photos aside, though, after Rivers surprisingly got fired by Balmer early this week, the basketball world wondered what happened behind the scenes. Sure, the Clippers blew a 3-1 series lead to the Denver Nuggets in the second round of the NBA playoffs. But was that really a fireable offense for the head coach given a dysfunctional season that included playoff games in an isolated bubble and missing key parts of the roster like Lou Williams and the league six man of the year, Montrez Harrell? Among others, apparently Steve Ballmer sure as hell thought so. While Rivers is now gone and has already accepted a new head coaching gig with the Philadelphia 76ers, <laughs> The sting is still very real for Steve Ballmer and his Clippers, so much so that there are already rumors that the roster could be blown up soon too, with all-star Paul George possibly being the next one sacrificed for the team's failures. What a mess the Clips continue to be. Given the abrupt end to their championship or bust season and the nature in which their season ended, it should come as a surprise that Ballmer was more than a little pissed about it Firing Rivers was what ultimately happened, but according to reports, the owner wanted to do more than just that. He, in fact, reportedly was so ballistic after the Game 7 loss to Denver that he had to be dissuaded from of, from of getting rid of the entire organization, players included. That's per Bill Simmons and Ryan Rossillo in the latter's podcast on The Ringer, which can be heard by clicking the link in the tweet below. It's one thing for Steve Ballmer to be pissed about the loss to the Nuggets, but it's another for the owner to bring up old shit and be mad about it too, but that's what he allegedly did per Simmons and Rosillo. The BNA hated seeing Denver pick apart his team with budding young star Michael Porter Jr., especially after he urged Doc Rivers in the front office to draft Porter during the 2018 NBA draft. <laughs> Instead, L.A. used picks 12 and 13 in the first round on Shea Gilders Alexander and Jerome Robinson, who have both since been traded. Denver took Michael Porter Jr. with the 14th overall pick that year after a 2019 offseason that saw signing Kawhi Leonard and trading for Paul, Jordan, Paul George. Everyone talked about the future battle for L.A. in the playoffs that was bound to take place between the Clippers and Lakers. That never materialized, and while Doc was while Doc Rivers was Steve Ballmer's sacrificial lamb, it sounds like the owner was so pissed that he was initially thinking about a fire sale. Man, do you guys think Steve Ballmer would have been correct in getting rid of everybody? To me, I would have fired everybody. I would have got rid of the staff, everybody. I would have got rid of everybody on the team. I would just keep Kawhi Leonard. And I just would put different pieces around. I would keep Kawhi Leonard. I would keep Patrick Beverly. And I would get rid of everybody else. I would get rid of Trez. I would get rid of Lou Williams. I would get rid of Paul George, a.k.a. No Planners Paul. Um, I would get rid of, you know, the, the young talent you have, keep them. You can groom them. Let Reggie Jackson go and just just go from there. And when you get a coach, get a coach who has championship DNA, a guy who knows how to win and want to win, make the right decisions. Kawhi wasn't the problem. Everyone wants to blame Kawhi saying, oh, it's because of Kawhi like Shannon O'Sharp who's stick riding. 
The problem was no planners Paul and the fake ass Rodman Montrez. They were beefing instead of them snapping out of it and playing. They were bickering like a bunch of bitches. That's all they were doing. They were soft. They were mentally weak. They're mentally out the game. And I can't have that on my team. I got to get rid of them. So Steve Ballmer to me did the right thing in firing. He was going to fire more people. I think he should have. I think he should have fired the whole staff. And I believe he should have um, got rid of the players. Um, I think he needs to get rid of them. Word has it Paul George might be going to Brooklyn, but I'm not sure. Um, I think that's a bad move for Brooklyn. I think that if they do get Paul George, I mean, I, I just don't see him doing well there. I think him and KD will bump heads. I think him, Kyrie, KD will bump heads I, because I don't think he'll pull his weight. I mean, even as a third option, I mean, he could be a third option and they don't worry about him. It'll be less pressure for him. So it might be a good pick. Um, I don't think so. I think no planners. Paul needs to go somewhere else like the Sacramento or somewhere, somewhere where there's no pressure to win and just play out his contract. But they gave up so much for him. If you do trade him, who are you going to get in return and what you're going to get? <laughs> so, but I'm hearing, but, but somebody telling me that, Bradley Bill don't like LeBrownie, so he's not finna sign to LA. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm I believe it when I see it, cause Bradley Bill, if Bradley Bill go to the Clippers and play with um, um Kawhi Leonard, that'll be a good pair. That'll be a good pair together, because Bradley Bill can do what he want on offense. See, Kawhi don't want to do the bulk load of the scoring. Just give Kawhi the ball at the end. Plus, Bradley Bill knows how to close. I think that'll be a good good play putting Bradley Bill there, you know, um, in place of Paul George. And that would be a good move. And I think they could they could ball out. And then if I was them, I would go after Daniel House and P.J. Tucker. I would try to grab them and put them on the team. I really believe they would bolt the team up and their front court would be, would be good. They need to go get some more big men. They need to get at least two or three big men that are able to bang down low and also able to switch. Um, let's see. It's others out there. Um, we'll see what's up. Um, it's gonna be crazy. It's a lot of free agents and stuff. But um, Steve Ballmer was pissed off, and he had a right to be. Um, Choke Rivers just basically stopped coaching, which now we realize if you've been on Carcino for Life's page, we realize that he had a job waiting for him, which was Philadelphia. And he had that job, and I, I think he's going to choke in Philadelphia. You know, that's not going to work. If you got him and Ben Simmons and Embiid over there, that's going to suck. You couldn't handle this locker room with no planners. Paul and Montrez, the a.k.a. the fake-ass Dennis Rodman, who signed the Clutch Sports. Fucking traitor. Oh, punk ass. Oh, to cut his damn dreads off. You soft ass going to go over there to LeBronies, man. Stop it. But um, like, comment, subscribe, share this, hit the notification bell um, to select all um, so you can receive upcoming content. And um, if you want to donate to the page, please um, cash at me at welcome to HDTV, which is the word welcome, the number two, then HDIITV. Um, like I said, um, and if you don't donate to the page, that's fine too. Just like, comment, subscribe, and share this to everybody. And um, shoot, man, thank you for listening, man. And we out. Live, boy.